My name is Conrad Worsner. We're the University of Texas Solar Vehicles team. Uh, we're a completely student-driven organization where we design, build, race, and test solar vehicles. Uh, the team's actually been around since 1988. Uh, originally formed under the Mechanical Engineering Department um, under Dr. Matthews with the Formula Car team. And so they built two cars, um, and the first car they built actually won second place. And then in 1996, the team essentially died. And then it was reactivated in 2005 in the Electrical Engineering Department under Dr. Halleck, who's our current sponsor. And uh, we are now on our, let's see, fourth car that we're going to be building. It's called the B-Volt. Um, this car right here is, the, is called the Tech Sun. We like to run a bunch of puns with the solar cars. <laughs> so um, this car was built, was designed in 2012 and then built for racing in 2013 and finished its last race uh, this past summer. So we plan to retire the Texan for the new car, the B-Volt, which is uh, wrapping up in the design phase. So it's not your traditional vehicle. So uh, of course it's 100% solar powered, but of course there's not enough energy from just the solar panels itself to drive the car. So you have an auxiliary battery pack. Um, you might be able to see it's towards the front uh, there's 40 kilograms of lithium ion batteries in there and um, it can propel the car for about maybe 140 miles on a good day um, but average speed is like 30 40 miles an hour so it's you're driving pretty slow <laughs> um, some of the performance cars though that are like some from some of the other solar car teams like university of michigan they run a two million dollar budget on their car and they can go 65 miles an hour consistently and like smoke everyone out <laughs> Um, but our car, it costs about 150000 to build, so we're actually a low-budget team. So our funding comes, I'd say about 60% comes from our department specifically. Like a lot of the corporate uh, donors will like donate specifically to the solar car team. Um, like as you can see here, like I'd say at least half or more of these just come directly from our department. I have no contact with these people at all. It's just like, here, here's, here's $10,000. Like, oh, awesome. <laughs> um, so a lot of your build is dependent upon how much funding you get. So that's why these cars tend to be like a three to four year long project because you need to, I mean, so the department gives you 60%, but the other 40% the students and anyone else involved in the organization has to go out and try to solicit donations. Um, the easiest thing we do for donations is like material donations. So uh, our carbon, so this car is actually a carbon fiber body um, and we had the carbon fiber donated which is normally $10,000 just to do for this car. Um, for this car, we actually purchased our solar array and this solar array here was $25,000. Um, but thankfully, SunPower stepped in. Uh, their office is literally across the street and they're like, oh, you use our cells. We'll give you a whole bunch of bare cells for you to use for your next car. So that saved us like $25,000 right off the bat. Um, a lot of the electronics in this car is all designed, mostly scratch designed by the students on the team. The chassis is also designed from scratch by the mechanical engineering students and the body is designed from scratch uh, by the aerospace students. So we have roughly about 30, 40 students um, and it kind of fluctuates depending on like time of year, if there's like midterms and stuff like that. And what's actually really been hurting us recently is because we've been like 100% relocated to here because we used to be in the engineering science building and that's where they're building that new big engineering building. So this big old hole in the ground. Uh, so we used to have a central meeting place on campus, but we don't have that anymore. So a lot of students are like, I have to go 14 miles round trip just to come up here to work on this. So that's, that's kind of one of the biggest challenges we're facing right now.